And that's it. Jessica Pagula will play for the U.S. Open title. Six, six, four. Six, four. Step by step by step by step. Can she take one more step? Why not, Patrick? She is having such an outstanding summer. And the way she finished this match, she's going to be confident. Didn't start the way she wanted. For Muhova, that's a bit of a heartbreaker. She was in total control. But nice to see her healthy again. I think we're going to see her back in the top 10 in uh, just a few months because she played extremely well this tournament. Yeah, her brand of tennis so much fun to watch. So let's hope she can stay healthy. And if she does, little doubt, as you said, Mary Jo, she'll be back in the top 10. So the first major final coming up for Jessica Pagula. She's won 15 of her last 16. The only loss to her opponent in the final. Renee. Well, Jessica Pagula through to your first ever major final. I got so many questions. What were you thinking? A set to love, break point down, you hit that absolutely amazing slice forehand and she missed that volley. What went through your mind after that point? I was thinking, all right, that was kind of lucky. Like, try, <laughs> like you're still in this. And it comes down to really small moments that flip momentum and she, I came out flat, but she was playing unbelievable. I mean, she made me look like a beginner. I was like about to like burst into tears because it was embarrassing. <laughs> like she was destroying me. And I was able to just hold into that game and um, I was able to find a way, find some adrenaline, find my legs. And then at the end of the second set into the third set, I started to play like how I wanted to play. And it just, I, yeah, it took a while, but um, I, I don't know how I turned that around, honestly. We saw you after the second set when she went off the court. You went over to the boys from the Bahamas over there, your coaching crew. What did they tell you in that uh, time that you went over there? Yeah, um, they were telling me to mix up the serve a little bit, keep mixing up the spins and keeping her guessing, a few kicks out wide maybe to her backhand, um, and to just play her backhand maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, she was getting that backhand down the line really well just to cover that a little bit more. It was just a few other things. I mean, it wasn't anything different. I started to kind of do it at the end of the second, but I think I was really to hone, able to hone in on a couple of those things really early and, um, you know, also just compete and use my legs and try and think clearly out there. So your sister's in the box there. Your dad's also here. He doesn't sit in the box. He's some random spot here in the stadium. Oh, there he is, up on the big screen. And your mom, I know, is at home. What does it mean to you to have your family all here supporting you? And what does that mean for you to be in your first final of a Grand Slam at the US Open? I mean, it's amazing. Um, I have my brother there, my sister there. Um, on the screen was my dad, my brother-in-law, lots of friends, lots of family, all scattered around. Um, obviously, my husband, sorry. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> He's not even standing up. He doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have so much family here, and they've been here um, watching a lot of my matches. So to still be here and have them still here supporting me is, is crazy. Um, I'm glad that they're able to, to share this moment with me. OK, so next, we know your next opponent is Arena. Sabalenka, give me your thoughts on playing her and just what this means to you to finally be in a major final. I mean, first of all, I'm just happy I was able to turn this match around on such a big stage and figure it out. But two, yeah, playing Arena is going to be really tough. I mean, she, yeah, she showed how tough she is um, and why she's would probably the favorite to win this tournament. Um, it'll be a rematch of Cincinnati, so hopefully I can get some revenge out here. But uh, happy to have a day off. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's kind of crazy that we're playing each other again in the in the finals, but I think it just shows how um, you know how much great court tennis we've been playing. And she's going to be obviously tough to beat, but um, you know that's what the finals are for. So I'm ready. Jessica, this was one of the most phenomenal turnarounds in your biggest match of your career. I've said it all week. She takes the subway. She was born in New York. Through to her first major final, Jessica Pagula. Yeah, proud pops. And Jessica will sign a few balls, hit a few into the crowd. And as she said, Mary Jo, have a day off because uh, she'll have her hands full. Sabalenka playing so well, as Jessica herself said, will go in as the underdog. Sabalenka beat her in Cincinnati. She's got the head-to-head 5-2, -head two, but 2-2 two -two on hard courts. Yeah, it's fitting that these two are in the final, the two best players this summer. Jessica won in Canada, lost to Sabalenka in the finals of Cincinnati. Of course, every time Sabalenka plays, the match is pretty much in her control. She's got the bigger serve. She's got the bigger weapons from the baseline, but do not count Pagula out. She's got grit. She's got fight. She showed mental toughness to come back and win this semifinal.